So hello everybody. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today, but I hope to do a few more of these and that is showing you some great resources online, some websites that you can be looking at. And the first one I want to show you is called IndieGetUp.com and it's Indie Fashion Wear. Um, but what they've done is, and I'm going to show you when you click here on About Us and our criteria, they have focused and created a criteria that they use um, when selecting which brands will be featured on the website. And your brand has to be innovative, ethical, and local. So what does that mean? Um, when I had a chance to talk with um, co-founder Brandon, he told me that innovative could mean anything from you are in a new space um, or you've you know showed up on a bunch of websites, gone viral on Kickstarter or something, or um, you're using a unique textile like wool in the men's sportswear area, a space that it's not typically used in. Or innovative could also, from the environmental perspective, be using unique fabrics or, um, you know, using those fabrics in a different way that are better for the planet. Um, but environmental also falls into ethical, which is, you know, making sure you're not using sweat, sweatshop labor or, um, you know, you're doing everything from... A perspective that is healthy for our society and the people in it and then local is you know where is it being done is it developing local economies and contributing to that growth so that means that any brand you find here when you click on all brands is something that is environmentally sustainable but also falling under those other unique categories um, some of the ways you can discover brands on this website you can go by popular categories like I said, um, with sustainability, you can click on that one to find which brands fall in that category or for a cause, um, you know, pick based on what you're looking for, um, based on your lifestyle, etc. So that's a really cool way. Um, something I like to do is you can click on location. And, you know, I'm from Michigan. I went to school in Arizona. I now live in Oregon. So I was immediately curious what all those states have. Um, and if they weren't featuring brands that I knew fell into that category, I was like, I want to immediately email those people and let them know about this great resource where they can be promoting their brand. Which, if you are an eco-friendly company, you can go to the bottom of any of their pages and click Submit Your Brand under Resources. And, um, you know, this will show you that you can select a plan that fits, you know, your budget, but also your needs. So, um, it's all of these are a one-time charge. So you're not paying these monthly. You're not paying them every year. You pay them once and you get to stay on the website forever. And they also vary. So based on not just being on the website, but you can get featured on their social media. So each of these plans, um, you get to determine what level of attention that you need and that you want. So you just keep scrolling. You put in your information here below, and then you'll be evaluated um, by the co-founders or someone on their team to see if you meet those criteria that they're looking for. But it's super cool. Get to find a lot of stuff, and um, I think it's a great way to make sure that if you're trying to be a conscious consumer, that anything you're looking at is sustainable. But please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if I don't know the answer, I can always pass it on to Brandon, but the last thing I guess I'll share, um, getting to talk to him is just so cool to talk to young entrepreneurs. And, um, I asked him to give some pieces of advice if you're a young entrepreneur out there. And so he said, um, his best piece of advice is to get a mentor. And he said, you know, it's sometimes it's not easy, but make sure you find somebody. And for him also like an inspiration, he always looks up to Gary V who you can look up on social media, huge influencer. Um, has stayed at the um, peak of digital world his entire life and been at the breaking point for everything and has a lot of great advice for um, you if you want to be a social entrepreneur um, or how you can get your brand to become relevant and um, acknowledged online. And then he said to make sure you get organized. And lastly, um, that there's a really good book you should read that he recommends called Born for This. And it talks about the criteria for your perfect job having three components and those are joy, flow, and money. So that means you enjoy it, you're doing what you're good at, and it's going to sustain your lifestyle. So um, just want to say thank you so much to Brandon for taking the time to talk with me. Um, you know, it just means a lot that these brands have been so willing to talk to me and to talk to you guys ultimately to get the word out about what they're doing and to help you um, live a more sustainable lifestyle. So thank you guys for watching.